I want to talk about how to manage your money as a female entrepreneur. So this is a really fascinating question because I think a lot of women think that they're not good at money and they're not good at managing their money. So I've got a few little tips and tricks that really help me feel like a much better money manager. Now, the first one is to hire somebody who's really good at money management. <laughs> you might think, no, I need to learn how to do it myself. Really? No, you don't. You know, I started my business and I went, I should do my books myself. Oh, I should, you know, take care of my own bookkeeping. And honestly, it didn't feel like something I was really good at and it stressed me out. So I had boxes of receipts piling up. And it wasn't until about um, six months in my business that I contacted a bookkeeper and I said, you know, can you help me out? She goes, of course, I'd love to be your bookkeeper. And I went, okay, but I'll deal with all that six months worth first. I felt like I had to. I felt like it was punishment for letting it all build up. And um, that went a couple of months by. And then I went, you know what? Would it be okay if I just sent you all of those receipts? She's like, of course, that's what I do. And I was like, wouldn't that stress you out getting a whole you know, bunch of receipts in the post? She goes, no, that's what I do. I love making order of it. So let me tell you, that was a real turning point in my business because up until then, I was trying to do something I wasn't that good at. And actually, becoming a good money manager means becoming a good steward of your money in lots of different ways. And if bookkeeping is not your area of expertise, it's not your, your zone of genius, don't do it. Even if you can do it, you really, really shouldn't. It's something that, you know, is a distraction to your business. So that was the one hire for me that I felt like I really went pro. Beyond anything else, hiring, you know, a coach, doing a course, I really felt like hiring a bookkeeper made me go pro as a business owner. So that's really the first thing. The second thing is, you know, have simple, simple money systems. So one thing for me is I track my income, you know, and I, I, I sometimes track it daily, sometimes every couple of days, but I really take a look and I record it somewhere on a spreadsheet or on a, even on a piece of paper is fine because it really makes me focus on why I'm in business and you're in business to make money and you want to try and make money every single day. And you know, some days in my business, I don't make money every day. You know, sometimes there'll be, you know, a boot camp sale one day and then nothing the next and then three the next and then, you know, five and then zero. And it, you just want to track that because you want to reward yourself for regular sales and to focus your mind on that's what I'm in business for. It's not to do, you know, my admin, it's not to do this, it's not to be on Facebook, it's to make sales. So that is a really good money habit that I do. And then another simple one too for me is that I just have a very, very simple system for taking care of my money. So one thing is, I don't know if I've got it here, I do... <clears throat> is in my wallet, you know, I keep my wallet very, very clear of stuff. So this is just today, there's a check that I just deposited and one receipt. But really, there's not a lot of clutter in there at all. And I need a new wallet, by the way. Um, and, you know, so every time I go out and I get some receipts, I come home and I you know, chuck away the personal ones. And then my business ones that I need to send to my bookkeeper, I keep a prepaid envelope. I don't have one handy because I just sent one off on my desk and I just put the receipts straight in, in there. And then, you know, once a month, I just peel off the back, stick it on and send it to my bookkeeper. Now you might be wondering about electronic receipts. So a lot of mine are filtered automatically into a folder in my Gmail. So, you know, anything that has receipt in it or things that I get all the time, they go straight into that folder. And once a month, my assistant goes through that whole folder, forwards everything to my bookkeeper. So it's very, very, very simple. And see how just putting those tiny rituals in place really take you out of the equation. You know, and you might not have an, an assistant, you know, whatever. I used to do it myself, just forward all those on. But really having that um, those simple, simple things will make you feel like you're in control of your money and you feel like you're being a good steward of your money. And then the last thing really that made a huge difference for me and was a, again a huge turning point in my business was I really looked at my energetic income blocks and I really looked at what was scaring me about money. 
So that meant looking at some of the old self-beliefs I had around money that I wasn't good at money, that you know money's hard to get, that money doesn't grow on trees, all of those kind of things I really looked at and I eliminated. Because when you release your money blocks, honestly, it gives you permission first to earn it, but also to take care of it. It means you won't sabotage it. It means that you um, will attract a good team around you to help you deal with your money. And you know you won't then give it all away or push it away by you know pushing away clients or spending it unnecessarily or manifesting ways to get rid of that money. So there are my tips on how to become an amazing you know, steward of money and a, and a great um, manager of your money in your business. So from me to you, I'm wishing you much love, luck and abundance. Bye.